Fegana presents. Puss in Boots. Programmed by John Ferguson Aditi. There was a miller, who left no more estate to the three sons he had, than his mill, his ass, and his cat. The eldest had the mill, the second the ass, and the youngest nothing but the cat. The poor young fellow was quite comfortless, at having so poor a lot. My brothers, said he, may get their living handsomely enough, by joining their stocks together. But for my part, when I have eaten up my cat, and made me a muff of his skin, I must die of hunger. The cat, who heard all this, but made as if he did not, said to him with a grave and serious air, Do not thus afflict yourself, my good master. You have nothing else to do, but to give me a bag, and get a pair of boots made for me, that I may scamper through the dirt and the brambles, and you shall see, that you have not so bad a portion in me, as you imagine. The cat's master did not build very much upon what he said. He had often seen him play a great many cunning tricks, to catch rats and mice, as when he used to hang by the heels, or hide himself in the meal, and make as if he were dead, so that he did not altogether, despair of his affording him some help, in his miserable condition. When the cat had what he asked for, he booted himself very gallantly, and putting his bag about his neck, he held the strings of it in his two forepaws, and went into a warren, where was great abundance of rabbits. He put bran, and so thistle into his bag, and stretching out at length, as if he had been dead, he waited for some young rabbits not yet acquainted with the deceits of the world, to come and rummage his bag for what he had put into it. <laughs> 